Hey guys, I was making this video for anybody that might be having some trouble with the Adobe Media Encoder and the dynamic link problem. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to check the log and make sure that is indeed what your problem is. And you can do that by going to this right here. And just change Jamie to your account username. And then you can open up this log file right here and for me it does indeed look like it was a dynamic link problem it says it was attempting to launch this dynamic link manager and it doesn't look like it was able to so what i did was i said hey why don't i just go start this program myself and i copied this link right here to where the program is and then went over here pasted it you gotta get rid of this part though leave it with the 32 press enter and bam there's the program and just to make sure I wouldn't have any problems I did run as administrator and said yes and then also too I went because I have zone alarm firewall I don't know if anybody else might be having using a firewall or an antivirus uh, to see if that's the problem just go ahead and put it on snooze or close it for a minute and see if it works if not then you're gonna have to go in there and go to allow the program internet access and fair warning to those that might have a pirated copy as long as you have blocked the Adobe addresses in your hosts file you will be just fine by allowing the program internet access to your firewall and you just gotta scroll down here to find the Adobe link manager and there's looks like there's a few of them and right now I have them blocked and all you gotta do is allow that for all of them then hit OK and then now you can start encoding videos by uh, importing them or exporting them from After Effects and Premiere Pro right now I've got one encoding uh, hopefully this helps you out if not uh, leave a comment and maybe we can work it out together thanks for watching this video have a great day